How good does that look? Guys are heading down to the day feed. Nice clear morning this morning. Just getting down to breakfast. Load up some firewood. What do you reckon, Pippi? You pip? Good girl. Alan and Trevor getting all the brackets on just before the panel's going. And wiring. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Put all the solar panels here. The blackboard to go up here where the inverter's going to go on the wall. I my canoes the other day. The other way. And then these, just going to, he's going to drive his truck forward and then push them up, up from the back here. They're all panels. 64. Wait is going on. Some clearing around the uh, foot valve to do. I haven't had the pumps running for a bit, so to clear it around so we don't get too many blockages up above. Got some, some things, and the river's not too high at the moment, so we can just get by with the waders. Placing the suction line. Got the proper hay vehicle coming along now. Just gonna drive along the fence and drop it next to the fence. Alan and Trev done for the day, so got all the rails on and all the wiring put in conduit. It's all ready to get the panels on tomorrow. These are the panels. <coughs> Backside of them anyway. They're all back to back. This one. So big sheets. Are they 415 watts each. So I'm was saying today, you know, 10 years ago, the same size panel might have been 100, 150 watts, whereas now they're 400. So um, you're getting a lot out of out of one panel. Uh, so it'll be eight across i think eight and then seven seven rows of eight and then there'll be another four uh four or five on the roof on the um garage roof so yeah it'll be good and that's the blackboard for the for the inverter the inverters in there it's all coming together oh panels is going on so that's all the start right and goes all the way around because i reread the instructions yeah because the 15 kilowatt you can only put a certain 10 panels on. Yeah. This one you can put up to 25. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Right. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So I thought, well, I'll re jig how I was wiring it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And we even got a ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect.
Looks so good. Right? Looks so good. Yeah. Inverter. So tell us about the inverter, Alan. Well, it all started no. when I was... <laughs> no. Nothing, all started when I was Nothing to say. Full, full the wires come in the top. No. The DC goes in the there. DC goes in the top. No, in here. Oh, in here. And there's the DC, DC switch. in there from up there. Yep. Yep. And then the AC goes into here. AC into here. Straight and then the there. end of the switch. Yeah. yeah. And then that will go underground this afternoon to the pole. Yeah. Crisp morning out here this morning again. Not as quite as big a frost, but still a frost. So <clears throat> yesterday, Alan and Trev got everything uh, done for the solar. So here's the inverter. Got your Wi-Fi dongle so we can check the usage and stuff like that. Main switch. And what we're doing today, later this afternoon, so it's Saturday, is uh, Chad's going to come back uh, to jump on his digger. And we're going to dig a trench. It's a simple trench straight through here. There's a water line we've got to go under. And uh, then we'll bring it up here. Alan and Trev already do the conduit and the cable just there. So that's gonna, we're gonna drag that up, put it in the trench and uh, get it lined up with that. So that when Alan and Trev come on Monday, they can just plug everything in. So you go straight down there. We've got this tape. So the tape goes on top of the conduit. So bit of bit of dirt on top of the conduit, then the tape and then soil on that and gravel on that. So that if you're digging and you hit the tape, you know that there's power below it. So that's the safety safety measure there. It's just gonna go straight down there and then we're gonna sweep it in. So we're coming out a bit further because we've got mains power to the shed from there, directly straight to the, the pole. So we've got to come out a, a couple of meters so we're well clear of that. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to leave two ends open. It's a safety tape, but it's got to be the whole trench. So we're going to have to leave the two ends open. And once the cable's connected on Monday, cattle just backfill then. Get some more safety tape. 